What else? Is that um, it? Can, can I can I get y'all's thoughts on a topical thing right now? Yeah. What do y'all think about the future of AI and like Chat GPT? I was telling him before we started. South Park just released an episode all about Chat GPT, and they freaking nailed it. And so as we are being faced with people being able to, especially with us on you on video and on podcast yeah. mics, and there's hours of us, right? Yeah. And so. People are going to be able to use this raw audio to be able to manipulate things that you say, yeah, and create um, deep fakes and create yeah. deep fakes, and 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 we're at an elementary level right now with that, yeah. And you fast forward however long, it'll be where your mom can do it, like she could make it, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. know, Photoshop so you, back in the day was like a big deal, you know, yeah, but now anyone on an iPhone can do, you know, there's commercials right now with uh, Giannis deleting someone from the background of a photo yeah, it's just crazy. with a click of a button. That yeah. used to take people on Photoshop forever. So my yeah. point there is like pretty soon deep fakes will be everywhere. Yeah. Thoughts. Have you seen any of the deep fakes? Yeah. Like they did one with Biden and it sounds exactly like it. It's yeah. the craziest thing. These yeah. people, I mean, it really is scary. I mean, yeah, I just think it's going to make it hard to trust things that you see on the that's, internet, yes. <laughs> which maybe is a good thing because then well, that's you can start to like actually connect with people like i i've already seen articles popping up of uh chat gpt saying things that are wrong right like uh, of giving people false information that wasn't true like if those systems are built with human engineering then there has to be some level of human error built into the ai models i don't i don't know it's it's a weird question because then you're like well is it going to become a sentient I just wonder being like a sentient <laughs> thing that thinks for itself or is it always operating based on human created algorithmic codes that are going to always have human error built into them? Well, that's the thing is like they've been studying that for yeah. decades and they can't figure out how to make it that. So I don't yeah. think that's the, that, that yeah. can't be the case. Terminator 2 <laughs> yes. and Terminator the movie 3 is, shows this. is what I think <laughs> is happening. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing about like uh, the deep fakes is then you'll be able to use it the opposite way where you'll be at you, the real Max will be able to say some crazy shit it's like, it was a deep and then be like, it was the deep <laughs> fake. That's good that, for me. That's what he, then I can it was a deep me. fake about the open. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. my favorite yeah. open. Yeah. I don't know who said that. <laughs> oh man. What are you reading? Uh, what am I reading? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing right now. It's been open. And yeah. Speaking yeah. of reading, there was this thing that popped up that uh, changed the bold and non-bold letters. Oh, of he I showed this. He showed this to me. It was amazing. That was amazing. So I I'll read it a thousand speed. Explain it real quick. So like, you can get a paragraph, and there's a certain type of font creation that bolds the... First three letters or something Yeah, like that. it's something. It's either two or three or something that can capture your attention enough that your brain will fill in the yep. gap so of what the word So for each word in the sentence, the first yeah. two or three, however many it is, is bolded, yeah. and everything else is the same. And they said it was for... ADHD type minds that because it gives your mind something to focus on, which I would think like when you look at ADHD symptoms it, and like the a lack of ability to control attention, it's probably like anybody that uses an iPhone and, and yeah. at all at this stage. Have you noticed your social attention media. spans drop diminishing? Yeah. Like oh. I have to focus hard on controlling my focus. Like I started being more mindful of like setting a timer and turning my phone off and just reading straight for 30 minutes to like keep my mind focused on things. Yeah. It's just, it drifts a lot easier now. I could be like, I'll be on my computer sometimes writing a program, responding to an email and like doing yeah. four different things it's at bad. once being like, huh, is that right? Or should I just be like on this thing, getting this thing done and then like checking the box and moving yeah, on. Yeah. But my it's almost like subconscious. Like so yeah. it's a, a, yeah, yeah. a message will pop up and I'll go and respond to it and then go back to where I was. But I don't think that's good. It's I not good. I, I don't think so. I do the same thing. Yeah. And I've, I've actually been trying to do a better job of like, I'm going to do this program only yeah. and not see anything else. The problem is on my computer now, it didn't like if yeah, a new you got to shut off. Like, yeah, you got to all the notifications are yeah. off. You got to my phone. create systems to, to sure. prevent well, it Well, here's from what happening. I found. I found like I'm pretty good at not being on too much of this stuff. But what I've found is even when you set up your scenario, like you were saying, your computer, turn off the notifications. It's not even just the notifications. It's like my brain is waiting for a distraction. It's a, it's almost like it's actively looking to for do distracting. Else. Yeah. yeah. Like it need, it's like, okay, we've hit that time limit. Yeah. You I know, need that, stimulation. Like people watching short, uh, what are the reels and all this kind of stuff? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. It makes it hard to, for people to be reasonable because being able to create 
thoughts and stream of conscience and understand somebody else's perspective, it takes time. Like if somebody's trying to articulate one thing to you, you have to sit there and listen continuously for a couple minutes to like digest and process. <laughs> and most people's attention spans are f like, what? <laughs> you know what's funny is in this same conversation, we've done that. We started by talking about the text, the bolded text. Yeah. And <laughs> oh, shit. And yeah. we quickly yeah. left. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. So that yeah. bolded text, you can fly through those. Yeah. You could read so quick. Did yeah. you do it? Someone, yes. So yeah. I read at like eight times the speed. Dude. I looked up, can I get my Kindle? To That's what that I wanted to know. Me. What did you find out? That would be nice. I didn't find that you, they you got distracted. No, there, there's a, <laughs> you got yeah. distracted. No, there's an still app, on his safari. Yeah, there's an app that does it, but I don't think it does it for Kindle. Oh man, like if it they does had it that, on your. Uh, I would browser. download it because I was fly, I flew through that paragraph and I, I, I don't retained say, it. Wasn't it. Like a, yeah, it yeah. felt like I, I grasped it all yeah. real, real well. Yeah. I grasped it all. Yeah. <laughs> I grasped yeah. it all real good. <laughs> Not only are we unable to control our attention, but Chris can't speak. <laughs> well, that's all of us can. I think I think if I ever get through a sentence without a flub, that's just a miracle. <laughs> it really is amazing the people that can do that well. What? Like President Obama was so good at delivering speeches and his cadence was always good and that's what made yeah. him likable for a lot of people. That skill is rare. Yeah. Most people cannot do that. Yeah. It, it's just very or get hard. get to the end of a sentence. Because they're reading off teleprompters, right? right. right? And, and just putting like, emotion onto know, the words that they're saying. It's really hard to do yeah. that. I've I've tried, and it's not easy. Yeah. I don't think I'd be that good at that because I'm, I'm like off the cuff a lot of times. Yeah. Like I'm just – and speaking – like my inner monologue is well, so. even like so, like the for people that have watched our YouTube channel, the tips videos that we have, like I, I have a you know a little text yeah. on a script, or whatever, and reading that and trying to make sure that the cadence is correct for what's on your screen is yeah. very tough, and yeah. I can do it three or it's sixty seconds. I mean, those guys are doing it or girls are doing it for an hour straight yes. where they can stay on topic. I, it's yeah. it's really impressive. All right, Chris. Well, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Are we what done? an episode! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this clip of the Corpus Animus podcast with Max and Brandon. To hear the full episode where Max defends why this was his favorite CrossFit Open, why the sport being unknown and unknowable continues to cause problems, a discussion on the growth of the sport or lack thereof, and the future of AI, deepfakes, and chat GPT. Check out the audio version on all major podcast providers or peep the other clips here on YouTube.